they may just have. This happened just moments ago. It went final in a stunner. Nuggets, Kev, 74% chance to win the West. Just beat the lowly Spurs and the lowly Grizzlies. And hey, the road through the West runs through the Mile High City again. Victor Wembanyama putting a capper on a season for the ages. Fourth guy ever, Kev, 1,500 points, 250 assists, 250 blocks in a season. Joining Kareem, the Admiral, and Hakeem. Good company. Spurs, though, still in a hole. There's Jamal Murray. Nuggets coming off that big win over Minnesota minus Cat. Cat's back in action tonight. Kev with more on that in a second with, of course, Minnesota and OKC hot on the heels of the Nuggets. And the Spurs hot on the heels of the Nuggets tonight as Wemby continues to light it up. Look at that range, Kev. Though they're still down 13 after three. Nuggets did not take them lightly. This is a 20-win San Antonio team, but they are rallying. Wemby Yana up and over Jokic with the foul. Spurs have cut it to five. The big lead was 23. Now it's down to five. Devontae Graham to the cup. It's a one-point game from 23, 18 at the half, whittled down to one. Jokic got to put it in his hands. Easy foul line. Nope. Off the mark. Spurs, young team, Kev, no timeout. Just push it up the floor. Graham, floater, under a second to go. They rallied to take the lead. And Kev, when's the last time? Check this out. You've seen a game end like this. Murray looking to get this thing in. You know what's about to happen if you're looking at the counter on your screen. They called a five second on Whoa. it. Whoa. With the chance to inbound and win the game and put themselves within a whisker of the top seed in the West. Instead, the Spurs rally from 23 down. A devastating loss for the Nuggets as far as the top seed in the West goes. All right, so a golden opportunity for Minnesota, who got Carl Anthony Towns back tonight for the first time since March 12th. A gigantic run, as Zubin talked about, against Atlanta. Trey Young didn't shoot the lights out. He did have 19. He made three three-pointers. Fast forward to the fourth quarter, tied at 88. How about the Stifle Tower? Rudy Gobert, ho-hum, 25 and 19. Minnesota up two until A.J. Griffin hit that to pull the Hawks to within one. And then Veet Krejci, the three, giving Atlanta the two-point lead. But down the stretch, Towns was a factor. Four of 11 from the field, but he did have 11 points, eight assists. Minnesota up by one. Ant-Man was not a superhero for a change. Played just 27 minutes. He went for 14 points, and Minnesota comes away with the win. On the night, Carl Anthony Towns returned. Studying these guys. These guys have been playing so well. I didn't want to mess up anything, so keep the ball moving. Uh, when you got Big Fella playing, he, the way he played tonight and the way he's been playing all season, it's easy to go out there and integrate yourself back into the team. It took seven guys in double figures and 35 bench points to get this win tonight. When this team comes together, how good can you guys be? Number one in the West, good. <laughs> how about that? We'll see. We'll see on Sunday if that's the case. All smiles for Shea Gilgis Alexander. No Dame time. Bucks obviously either going to finish second or third in the East. They have no chance of getting the one seed. So much on the line for OKC as you see the spin move from Gilgis Alexander. He had 14 in the first. And Kevin Jokic is likely to win his third MVP in four seasons. And many people believe Gilgis Alexander will likely be the runner-up. Thunder playing with a ton of momentum and a ton to play for. Chet Holmgren on the receiving end. Beautifully done on the pass from Case and Wallace. And again, Bucks just trying to stay healthy. They got nothing to play for. They can't win the East. The Thunder up 55-46. The Thunder have been to the NBA Finals one time ever. Could this be the next time they get there? 12 points off nine Bucks turnovers in the second alone. We transition to the fourth, which was all OKC again. Kev, you reminded me of this two years ago. Oklahoma City, 40 games back of first, 40 out. Come Sunday, they could be the number one seed in the West. What a two-year turnaround that would be. Look at this, Kev. All three teams heading into the final weekend of the season exactly at 56 and 25. We should mention, because of the tiebreaker scenarios, despite them all having the same record at this point, because of the tiebreakers, the Thunder had the inside track to grab the top seed. We had mentioned that the top of the West is crazy, so is the bottom of the play-in picture. 63% chance 
the 9-10 play-in game would be the Lakers and the Warriors. How incredible would that be? Lakers are actually sitting in 10th. The Warriors won last night, so they flip-flop positions. The Grizzlies, again, as they have all season long, playing massively shorthanded. 13, a whopping 13 guys out. So this is a big spot for LeBron and AD. They said the same thing about the Nuggets, playing an undermanned team with a lot to prove and a lot to gain. Mm. The Nuggets couldn't do it. Lakers look like they might be able to seize the advantage. Again, Memphis, nothing to play for. Lakers just trying to improve their playoff positioning. Where are they going to finish in this play-in tournament? Davis had 36. In the fourth, despite having a poor record and being undermanned, this guy's actually played some good ball. Remember this guy in college, kept Gigi Jackson? Of course. Yep, from South Carolina. He had 31. And then Torian Prince to LeBron. Back and forth. LeBron ball fake to the rack under a minute to go. And the Lakers are back up in front. 15 seconds to go. Grizz down three. A reminder of how complete LeBron is. He did everything, including coming up with that steal. Oh! And then turns on the oh. Jets and finishes. 37, 9, 5 dimes, and one gigantic steal to make sure the Lakers would not blow this game to the Grizzlies. And here is the king on the pilfer. That ended it. And I felt like he was going to have to try to save it to his teammates, so I saw this teammate in my, uh, my side view mirror, so I just tried to jump that pass because he was trying to save it on the sideline. So, I mean, anytime you're able to steal a game, no matter how you're able to do it off a steal or a dunk or a defensive play or a rebound or free throws, it's always uh, feels good because that's, that's what you live for, to be able to steal games, to be able to win. So, uh, no matter how we had to come about this game, uh, we came out with a dub, and that's most important. It's unbelievable. Grizzlies played inspired. How about this stat? LeBron and AD went, went for 35, 5, and 5. They're the first Lakers duo to pull off that trifecta since Shaq and Kobe in 03. How about that? Z critical run in San Francisco. Play in or play off, right? That's kind of the question. Zion and the Pelicans started the night a game up on Phoenix taking on the dubs tonight and the story of this first half has been the play of cj mccollum five of eight from behind the arc 17 points here at halftime zubin he had injuries in recent years but over the last 10 years he's averaged 20 points per game every season it's incredible right shooting a career high 42.4 percent from three-point range this season, best in his career. He's been so steady, so effective. He's fit in so well there in New Orleans, and it's a 14-point Pelicans lead. All right, so the Pelicans are sitting in six. That's the cutoff. That's the last guaranteed spot, if you will, without having to go into the play-in, where the Suns are sitting at seven. So that's the top spot in the play-in. Take it on the Kings. There's Kevin Durant. This is a huge game. Sacramento most likely is going to finish 8-9 or 10. It's really bunched up there at the bottom of the West as it is at the top. Devontae Sabonis has just had an incredible year. Extra pass. Durant pulling up. It's a big spot here. They come up with that big, big win here, and they can lock themselves closer into that seven spot. We could get Durant, Curry, and LeBron all in the play-in. Starting next week, we'll keep you up to date. It's a one-point lead for Phoenix. Meantime, the Knicks entered play Friday with a 42% chance to take the two-seed away from the giannis Bucks. Bucks. New York home to Brooklyn, the bridge rivalry. Five straight wins head up against the Nets. Angel Reese in the house, headed to the WNBA draft later this month. Second quarter, Lonnie Walker to Noah Clowney. The Nets led by 15 in the first quarter. They led by nine at the half. Third quarter, OG Ananobi in the open floor. What a difference maker he's been. The midseason acquisition. Knicks down five. And then Ananobi, another steal. Brunson to the OG. OG. The Knicks tie it at 63. But Brunson has been the story for this team all season long. He won't win the MVP. But you'd be hard-pressed to find a more valuable player than he's been for the Knicks. Coming into this one, five straight games with at least 35 points. Brunson went for 30 in this one, and he also dished out 11 assists. Big-time floater in the paint. The Knicks in front by five. Next Nets possession, Cam Thomas. 
incredibly difficult shot. It was ruled a two. Thomas went for 41. He's been electric this year. But Brunson, the toast of the town in New York City. Another big shot, another big win for the Knicks, who get to 49 wins on the year with a four-point win. Cavs, Pacers. Pacers sitting in that seven spot right now. Believe it or not, the Sixers have ended up into the six. Cleveland's most likely going to get the four. Whoa. Tyrese Halliburton to Turner, Miles Turner. Look at this, taking off. Remember, the Pacers were kind of the story of the first half of the season. They had their star turn at the in-season tournament, particularly Halliburton. They played inconsistent most of the rest of the season, as have the Cavs. Again, Kev, they're probably going to finish in fourth. That'll mean home court in the first round. Here comes Mitchell. They had that spurt in January and February where they won 17 of 18, but they have been pretty inconsistent, much like Indiana, the rest of the way. This is a big steal and score for Mitchell as he leaves it to Evan Mobley. That'll put the Cavs up by six. And then Garland. Step back three. Cavs go on to win 129-120. And you can book it. You're looking at first round home court advantage for Cleveland, 2-3-4 looks like this. They need a telescope to see the Celtics. Milwaukee holds the inside track. They got the tiebreaker over the Red Hot Knicks. The Knicks need to beat the Bulls on Sunday and have the Bucks lose to the Magic. And if that happens, they can leapfrog Milwaukee to get the two seed. We will be watching, Michael, thanks. The hottest team in the NBA is Philly. Six in a row for the Sixers. They've got the big fella back. Joel Embiid has been a one-man gang, and he was again tonight against Orlando. But, and there is a but, pick it up in the second quarter. Just incredible how much he's added that to his arsenal. He was four of seven from behind the arc. And then Embiid off the drive. But he looked like he kind of planted awkwardly, and you could see him limping as he tries to get back on defense. Leg buckled right there on the takeoff. Embiid had 21, 9, and 7 in 17 first half minutes, but now you're wondering, can he make it back out there? And there he was oh, that's good. in the third quarter. Great news. And again, the weapon stroking the three from behind the arc later in the third on the defensive end, sending one back on Jalen Suggs in all 32, 13, and seven assists, 26, 30, 10 game this season. Fourth quarter, Tyrese Maxey. What a sensational year it's been for him. He has blossomed into an all-star. Fifth three of the night. He went for 28 points in this one. Even sometimes mom can't believe it. 76ers fifth season sweep of the Magic. They win. Remember, MB said if we get into the play-in, we're in the play-in. Right now, they're not in the play-in. They're in the playoffs proper. Heat are in the play-in right now. They're sitting in the eighth spot. I mean, Haka is, I mean, what a great pick this guy has been. He just, I mean, he's the prototypical key player. I know it's such a cliche, but he's just been great finding Bam out of bio. Caleb Martin would knock down the three. Man, Haquez had 20 points, one of those nine dimes to Martin on that shot there in the third. Tyler Hero is back, still integrating him off the injury to out of bio. Raptors have 25 wins. You can't do what the Nuggets do tonight. You can't lose to a team you got to beat with everything to play for. No worries for the Heat. 125-103. Again, they're sitting in eight, but Jimmy and company are just one game back of the sixth seed. So, again, let's take a look at the other conference now in the East. Seeds five through seven separated by just tiebreakers. The all-important sixth seed is at stake. That's the team above the line. And for the moment, that is the Indiana Pacers. And as Embiid said, if we're in the play-in, we're in the play-in. We'll deal with it. And right now, they have slid back in to the play-in.